What's up guys, this is Jason. Today's topic is tacos. I was craving for tacos but realized I didn't have most of the ingredients for authentic Mexican style tacos. I knew I had corn tortillas and other Korean or Asian condiments available in my pantry, so I decided to give it a twist. Authentic Mexican style tacos are very savory and unique because of all those flavorful spices used, whereas Korean barbecue tacos which I'll be making today are rather sweet and salty. It's really different in a good way, so if you're looking for something new or different, you should try this recipe. Alright, great tacos always start with great meat. I'm going to start by making Korean barbecue. Original Korean barbecues require blended onion, Asian pear, apple. But today I'm going to make very simple version of Korean barbecue by using basic ingredients we have in our kitchen. So, slice one and a half pounds of short rib, long wise about half an inch thick. You can absolutely use carne asada meat such as flat meat. Slice two to three green onions. For the white part, slice thinly. And for the green part, rub chop is okay. Also, either slice or chop six to seven cloves of garlic and throw everything into a bowl. Once everything is in, add two to three tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of soy sauce, black pepper, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and it is optional if you have a cooking wine or vodka, and one tablespoon of that as well. Ideally, we want to let this marinate for 3-4 to four hours or maybe up to days in the fridge but since I'm not patient and really hungry, I'm just going to let this rest for 30 minutes. Alright, set that aside. In the meantime, we're going to make slaw. We have cilantro, jalapeno, onion, cabbage, and this yellow thing. This is called tanmuji, which is Korean yellow pickled radish. This can be omitted or replaced by any pickles. If you want to buy, they can be found in any Korean market and packaged like this. Using a mandolin or knife, slice the veggies really thin. Once that's done, put them in a bowl and mix them well. Set that aside as well and it is time to make spicy sauce for the tacos. Alright, here comes a condiment that every Korean is having in their kitchen. Gochujang. It is Korean chili paste, easily found in any Korean market, very inexpensive, and good thing about it is it lasts forever. So if you don't have one, you can use sriracha, however I highly recommend getting one because we'll be using this from time to time. Combine 1 tablespoon each of sugar and gochujang. This thing is pretty powerful, so don't add too much. To that, add 1 teaspoon of vinegar, 5 tablespoons of mayo. Mix it well and give it a taste. If you want more sourness, add more vinegar, more sweetness, and sugar. In my case, I want it to be a little bit more sweeter, so I added more sugar. Give it a taste again. If it's perfect, it is time to cook our Korean barbecue. On a super hot pan, drizzle 1 tablespoon of oil and cook our Korean barbecue about 2-3 to three minutes each side. If your Korean barbecue is marinated overnight, great, it is going to be even more flavorful. Also, if you use grill for this, it's going to take it to another level. Once the barbecue is done, transfer to a cutting board and cut them into cubes or strips. And then, transfer back to the pan we cooked our Korean barbecue and smother that leftover sauce and the juice. Once that's done, we are basically done. All we gotta do is just make tacos. On lightly toasted tortillas, corn or flour, your choice. Put very generous amount of Korean barbecue, then add not so generous amount of slaw. You don't need to be generous with the veggies. Just put as much or as little as you want. Finally, finish with our spicy sauce. There was one regret for this recipe, I did not have enough tortillas. I ate 8 tacos but still wanted more. They were very good. Like I said, it was sweet and salty. Very different from Mexican style tacos, but I highly recommend everyone to make this. Also, for the slaw, I think adding more jalapenos would be fantastic. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Again, thank you, and have a great day.